Pedro, 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 Pedro. I never thought I'd be so happy to see a raccoon in my entire life. Yeah. Should we have a pet raccoon? Can you have pet raccoons? Probably not. <laughs> Ethically. Can I go like outside and catch a raccoon that's eating my garbage and be like, no, be no, no, sit, sit. <laughs> yeah, you're eating my friend now. We're having stuff tacos later. <laughs> Adopt it. Yeah. Daisy's gonna look at it and be like, what the fuck is this thing? They'd be, they'd be good pets because you could just feed them just basically anything yeah. and then they'll eat it. Yeah, except cotton candy because they can't wash it. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to White 2 playthrough. Uh, in the last one, we beat up some, some shark boy, and then we went on a ship, and then we saw some ice boy, and now we're in a, in a, in a rock. <laughs> yeah. And now we gotta look at these, oh, look at these cool ice, ice trees. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is no bathtub. I'm, <laughs> I'm not the beach, this is a bathtub. This isn't no. a, this isn't a bathtub, this is the beach. <laughs> No body of water safe without a lifeguard. It's two feet deep, lady. What are you doing? What's your favorite porn intro? That's my favorite. <laughs> no, my, my wait, do you ever is... see the lemon silly horror one? Yes. Yeah, that one's pretty funny. No, my favorite my favorite Ooh, one is You're the best big brother. Okay, <laughs> there we go. <laughs> that one's that one's probably pretty funny. Whee! I'm skirting around here. That puzzle was really tough. Alright, this is like our fourth time on this ship. Are we gonna get kicked off again? Hi guys. Bye. <laughs> Isn't there... He's terrifying. He can't be human. Isn't there an item on this? But he has a silly looking... Quillfish hairstyle. <laughs> Quillfish looking He does head. look... Yeah, you know what? He does have a silly little hairstyle. All the Unova will be frozen in Kiram's ice. I wonder if... Sinzillion will be okay. He really doesn't like the cold. <clears throat> squirm! Struggling to squirm! Kiram's ice is more powerful than Reshiram's calm of fire or Kiram's crackling lightning. Korean! Don't interfere with Team Plasma's conquest of Unova! I read that wrong. I thought that said conquest of love, and I was like, I was, I was like, oh, I'm so wholesome. <laughs> Go on ahead. I'm going to make them tell me about the Shadow Triad. If you find Perloid or the Shadow Triad, let me know. Wow, he's got such confidence in his voice. He's like a little bit... S uh, no, uh, refra refrain from saying that, Cameron. You are not a Minecraft YouTuber. You're not Dream? I suck oh, a dick with a smile for hours at a time. Oh wait, it's a double battle. <clears throat> Prepare for double. Oh ho ho, I can't wait to this. I can't wait to hear this song repeated again. Oh, and make it double. <laughs> hey, it's six Pokemon. Six! Man, you fucking gingers over here are so greedy with your Pokemon. <laughs> here we go. Oh, Goggles is back. Let's go, Goggles. I love Why you. are there Pokemon level 46 and they're not evolved? Oh no. Yeah, acrobatics, that fucker. Do we have a comment to read? Uh, yeah, we forgot to do look at that in the last one. Unless we just didn't have one. I don't think we had one. All good. Let me check now. Alright, what's a Pokemon-related question that we could ask for today? Uh, because... How I many bitches do you get? <laughs> that, that's, not, that's not exactly what I was thinking uh... of. Because I want to at least give him... A topic, because he's he's you know gone uh, gone uh, for a fair bit of his. Uh, okay, so we read all these facts. so far, so there's nothing new to add. Okay, I'll I'll give him something to to answer in the in the comments below, and we'll read it even even if you know in these later episodes we might not we might not fully get to these and say them in a video. We always read all the comments mm -hmm. and especially the the fun facts that people give out. Yeah. Um, but. My my comment for the day is, uh, what's your what's your favorite type? What's your favorite type of Pokemon? I thought you were about to be like, what's your favorite type of one? <laughs> I no, thought that's where no, you were no, going no, with no. it. I was I was wondering I was wondering what what your favorite type of Pokemon is and like what's your reasoning behind it? Does it have like a soft spot for you or? or anything I like, like water. Okay, so so you like you like water uh, water types. Is there like a specific reason or do you just like the water type Pokemon? Water type Pokemon have so many like diverse move sets that they can have and they don't have, they only have like two weaknesses. So they can go up against like pretty much any Pokemon in the game. 
For someone who's... Oh, wait, 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 this is kind of cool. Discharge hits everyone, uh, except it doesn't hit goggles because... Yeah, of... you didn't know that? I didn't realize Discharge hit everyone. Yeah, Discharge hits everyone in the field. That's pretty good. Um, I, I was just about to say, for someone who's thinking, like, their favorite type of Pokemon is only, like, competitively viable stuff, you did not go with a very competitively viable team for your <laughs> first playthrough. No, what my... What my... In, in Pokemon Black, when I did it off the other? Like, like, Sigilyph and... and... Audino and... Audino's cool, man. Aud Normal types can learn so many moves of different types. What's up, bro? Is this our boy? At last, we meet again! Remember me? Formerly of Team Plasma? I've been waiting for you. <sighs> Spying is such a rotten job. I contacted Rod of the Seven Sages, but no one showed up to help me. I can't stand it. Everyone around me is always saying bad stuff about Lord N. But Lord N learned the error of his ways and changed course to a better path. Yet they call him a betrayer. People really stink sometimes. Yeah, I know. They should I like how that's the worst word he could say about someone that's conquering the Unibar region. I'm like, yeah, these guys are a little stinky. <laughs> well, what are you expecting? Are you expecting in this children's game that he's like, yeah, he's a fucking douchebag. <laughs> what a bunch of cucks. <laughs> yeah. They selfishly count on him, and now they're selfishly making a big fuss about being betrayed. Oh, and you never forgot to tell you, this floor is a maze of pipes. You gotta step on switches to connect or disconnect the pipes. It's a good thing you can walk on the pipes. Oh, yeah. Hang on, I wanna go back up to because I, I thought I remembered there being- We already got an item up at the top. Oh, did we? Yeah, I got everything. I just, I just wanna double check. Uh, but anyways. Uh, if I had to choose a favorite type, I don't know. I think I think mine would maybe be ground types. I I really like the idea of of most ground Pokemon. Like uh, yeah, most ground Pokemon. Like um, like uh, Steelix is a cool one. Uh, I thought he was. Is wait is he rock? Rock steel. I constantly get rock and ground confused. I can't remember if he's rock steel or no. I no. I think he's. I think he's ground steel. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, yeah, because fire is still super effective against. Yeah, him. yeah, yeah. But um. But I just like all the all the like ground type Pokemon because uh, I think I've just had like a thing with them since I had Pokemon Ruby it was like one of the first games I played mm -hmm. and obviously Groudon is like the main Pokemon in, in Pokemon Ruby and there's a lot of ground types because uh, they make all they make a good amount of Pokemon based on like uh, like the box art legendaries so like there was a lot of water type Pokemon in, in Gen 3 and a lot of ground type Pokemon yeah so like like other Pokemon like Camerupt I think is really cool. Flygon is really cool. I just have a I have like a, a, a thing for them. Um, but if I had to do like a second one, maybe Steel. Steel types are really yeah, cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. If you had to build your like dream layout of like a like a gym based around Water type Pokemon. Oh god. Well, what do you think? Let's just do like three Pokemon. Blastoise, because I love Squirtle. Okay. And whatnot. I, yeah, how is Leo getting paralyzed? Just like that. <laughs> Probably Samra, because Oshawa was my first ever Pokemon, because Gen 5 was the first game I ever played. And whatnot. And then... Hmm, what's another good butter type? Any generation? Yeah, any okay. generation's fine. Maybe, maybe like, um... Maybe like Tentacool. That's oh, no, 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 Basque Legion. They only have, like, that ghost water type. It's pretty cool. What the mm. fuck are you put in? <clears throat> put, wait, Maggie has Thunder Fang! It's fine. Pringles is kind of low level. Oh, wait, yeah. Ice Beam! <laughs> I, I think like... we're gonna get healed <clears throat> soon. Like, uh, by, once we do this whole puzzle thing, Hugh will heal us, I think. That's good. Yeah. Because we, we need healing before we get to that final area where we see certain things. Yeah. I'm like my... So, those of you that are that are in the comments, uh, feel free to let, let us know what you think about your favorite types of, uh, of Pokemon and what your what your gym, like your ideal gym would be. It could be, it could be as simple as two Pokemon, it could be up to six, whatever, whatever you're feeling. Me personally, uh, 
If I was gonna do ground, I'd do crocodile. Yeah. I um, I do that. Yeah, cause uh, cause I think I think crocodile is cool. Would Flygon be on your team? I I would it's... like to, I would like to put Flygon on my team. If if Flygon had a Mega, then Flygon would be like an instant. Wait choice a minute, for... since uh, Pokemon ZA is being made, maybe they're gonna have a Flygon Mega evolution. Oh, that would be so cool. I've I've wanted a Flygon Mega for so long, but. Um... If I know, I, um, Gar, uh, Garchomp has one. Does that, did any other pseudo-legendary have one? Um... <clears throat> Metagross. Oh. oh Metagross has one. Salamence has one. I'm gonna have to look and see what they look like. Cause I don't, I don't, I didn't get to see a lot of Mega Evolutions when I played X and Y. Cause you only really get to see, like, your opponents, and then if you yourself got Pokemon that happened to have a Mega Evolution. Yeah, you, you haven't played through <clears throat> Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. No, never have. I picked up the game when uh, when we when we uh, were coming back from the mountains, and then I, someone had it, had it, like hacked in a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah. I, so I, I got like a Celebi I'm not supposed to have. <laughs> yeah. And I had a lot of Pokemon I'm not supposed to have, <laughs> and they're just sitting in my Pokemon home, which I need to actually put my new card on there. Or else I'm going to lose all of them because my thing's gonna expire soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I just have a bunch of illegal Pokemon. Like, I don't remember which Pokemon it is, but one of them has a date that just doesn't exist. Because it says it was on the 13th month. <laughs> and I'm like, there's no month 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, continuing off, so I'd probably, I'd, I'd probably have. So, Flygon, Crocodile, who would your third one be? Uh, I, pr I probably would do Garchomp. Oh, okay. Honestly. Fucking two Soto Legendaries on your, on your gym. No, 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 here's the kicker. Wait, what, wait, um... What do you, what do you, you mean? There's... Flygon's not a Pseudo Legendary. Fly... What do you mean? Yeah, Fly Flygon's a, a normal Pokemon. What? What do you mean? I thought he was a Pseudo Legendary for Gen 3. Nope. There's two Pseudo Legendaries in Gen 3. And which he ain't one of them? Yeah, and he's neither of them. Damn. <laughs> There's Metagross what? and Salamence. So stupid. So so, how much? Like, what's the what's his stat total then? It's only like 450 or something. It's it's honestly kind of low. Damn. It, it might be what like. What qualifies being a pseudo legendary? Actually, no. Five. Oh, I think it's 540. Sorry. Damn. Uh, 600. Garchomp has a thing over 600. Holy shit. Yeah, because Dragonite has it. Uh, Tyranitar has it. Dragonite is a pseudo. I didn't think they had pseudo legendaries yeah. in one. Yeah, Dragonite is a pseudo legendary. What? Pokemon. Yeah, there's there's Dragonite, there's Tyranitar, there's Salamence and Metagross, there's Garchomp, there's uh, the uh, High Dragon in this one. High Dragon. It's and Haxorus, right? Yeah, I think it's I think it's both of them. Yeah, High Dragon's so fucking difficult to deal with, man. Um. And then Gen 6 is Gudra, right? Oh yeah, that's- yeah, yeah, Gudra. Um... Yeah, past Gen 5 is where my expertise of pseudo-legendaries kind of fade. Gen 7 is Como O. Oh, yeah! That fucking Dragon Steel type? Or is dragon it Fighting. Dra dragon Fighting, that's right. Just yeah, it's like all the cool scales on him, yeah. Yeah. Gen 8 is... Is it that Ghost Dragon type? Did I get flinched twice in a row? Yeah, probably. Um, yeah, it's, uh, what's, what's his name? G he evolves, it, it, uh... It has this derpy looking drag, thing in the middle. Dragapult? Like, think so? And it, it has, like, the little missiles of its previous evolution that they used. So, like, yeah. cannon fodder. So, what's Gen 9's? Uh, Baxcalibur? That sounds about right. Or is that Gen 10? I don't know what generation we're up to, honestly. We're on, we're, on, so, we're on Gen 9 right now. Yeah, no, is, no. Uh, Scarlet, Scarlet, and Scarlet and Violet is Bax Calibur. Yeah. The I used I used him for my team. Nice. I had, he's a fucking impossible to find. <laughs> I was I was gonna ask you what your favorite Pokemon of each generation was. Wait, go back to the the gym leader conversation. What gym leader would you be? Would you be like the beginning one or like the final or like in the middle somewhere? Well, with the Pokemon that I chose, yeah, well, I can be like, be, like you the can, final one, but well, you can like 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 buff them down, so I I can be like the beginning one where I have Squirtle, Oshawa, and then like and then like a basculin, yeah. 
I'd, pr I'd probably be... Maybe I'll be in the middle. I feel like that's a good one for water. If I was the first gym leader, I would just do... I would do Sandile and... i do Sandile and either Gibble or Trap Inch. Okay. Alright, there we go. We got healed. But if I was to end one, and say I, I wanted to add like another Pokemon, because I think the end ones usually have like four Pokemon. Um... No, the ones here <laughs> have three. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't really, I don't really, oh. You can't go down there? The, the pipe. Ooh, what's that? A, a power, power belt. belt? Wait, go up to that one. I want to see where that switch goes. You, why did you go, you could have just gone straight. <laughs> I wanted to battle him. I wanted to battle him. Alright, now what's our favorite Pokemon from each, I think I know yours. Like, all of yours. All right, shoot. Let's let's see if you can. Oh fuck! Like, uh, I know Gen three is definitely Rayquaza and Gen five is definitely Sandal. I remember asking you, and then I forgot all the answers. <laughs> Did I really do this poor of a matchup? When? Yeah, you want to battle him. Uh, Gen one. I feel like it was Dragonite. Cool. I, he's shaking his head no. By the way. <laughs> I would say I would say there's two that I would accept an answer for because I'd probably like them both equally. Mew? No. I'd be surprised if you get if you get these. Is it Slowpoke? No. Is it <laughs> <laughs> He just high jump kicked he killed just himself. didn't kill himself. <laughs> what the um ex Ecuador? Ecuador? The the the, the country? The eggs. <laughs> no. You don't like the egg boys? No, I don't like the egg boys. Oh. Nice, you did it. Oh, I got that one. I feel like the ones were the. Oh, I didn't mean to run into this one. <laughs> oh my god, you're throwing right now! No, I'm not. Just just continue. I figured there was a lot of battles, so we might as well talk about stuff Pokemon related. Uh. Um. Moltres? No. You too. No. But he's the hottest guy in, in Pokemon anime. <laughs> One one is a starter. <laughs> is, is it uh, is it Totodile for one of them? For one. Well, of them? I, I do I do I do yeah, love Totodile. Totodile. <laughs> I do. Uh, no, it's Charmander, right? Yeah, I would I would accept Charmander. Or actually, I guess there's three that I. That oh I my accept. god. Okay, so Charmander's one of them. Charizard. No, Growlithe. Oh, okay. Would be another one that I would that I would accept, and then Lapras. Oh, Lapras, that's pretty cool. Yeah, because they're uh, they're either a Chompy boy or they're a reptile. Men only have two moods. <laughs> Chompy boy or reptile. <laughs> yeah. So I'm guessing like uh, crocodile, or Totodile, and Ninja. Yeah, I would probably right. say Totodile. Totodile or Ho-Oh. I yeah. really like Ho-Oh. Yeah, I got you a little keychain of him, and then you don't have him on your thing. I don't know where the keychain went. It's in the fucking drawer. It's always been in the drawer. Okay, if no, 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 it fell off, and so I was worried about losing it. Okay, fine. That's why I don't have it on anymore. There's um. Think. Oh wait, I can go over here. So G Gen three. Mm -hmm. Gen three. Like Rayquaza, you love Rayquaza. Yeah. Although a lot of the Pokemon in Gen 3 I like, but Gen 4 is is Gibbet or Gibble. Would I say that that's Gibble? Probably he's a chompy he's boy. He's a chompy boy. Or Turchwick. Turchwick's a chompy Turchwick boy. Turchwick is also a chompy he's boy. He's got no brain and a uh, big mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, I love Turchwick. Gen 5, Sandile, or the the whole crocodile line is your favorite. I love I love all of them. Sandile in particular because he's cute. Gen 6 might take me a little bit to think of because there's not a lot of chompy boys or reptiles that I can think of. Gen six, you, you can. Gen over seven, gen I think you like um that uh, that lizard one that's fire, that's poison fire, right? I'm actually not a not a big fan of that one. Really? Is it? It's a lizard. I know, I know, it's a lizard, but I, I like the I like the small one. The little baby one of it. Yeah, I don't yeah. I, I don't like the the big one. I think the big one is like seductive. It, <laughs> it went way too it went way too like. Well, like, be fair, like, only females could evolve. Yeah. They're in their line. Yeah, I like I like the small one though. The small one's cute. Yeah. Uh, back to Gen Six. I know there's a dog, but I don't think you like those frou-frou looking dogs. 
Um, oh, fur fur frow? Yeah, fur frow. It's more like a like a big ass show dog poodle thing, you know? Yeah. Where you can like decorate and and customize. All right, might as well beat this dude because he's probably like the last thing? one. Here. What the? I'm, I'm not really familiar a lot with Gen Six and whatnot. Gen Six is kind of weird for me. Oh, what about um, Greninja? I, I do like Greninja. It's a frog. <laughs> Fro I like Froakie. Froakie's pretty I like Froakie a lot. Um, no, one, no one's my complaint about Gen 6 a little bit is that the Megas were introduced and it was pretty cool and whatnot, but why couldn't my starters Mega evolve? Yeah, th it is That's really like weird. at the beginning when they did like Gen 8. <laughs> uh, sorry, not Gen 8. Gen... Gen... Yeah, it is! Bye, Gen Maggie. 8. I'm oh. pretty sure Maggie's dead here. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah. that was a critical hit. <laughs> Be fair, it was a coughing. Uh, put Apple in. Oh, that's an Among Us. I, th I read that as a Moa. <laughs> like the, the, no, the no, fish. No. <laughs> and it's gonna go, bring! Gen 6? Gen uh, si oh yeah, no, back to my fucking rant. Like, like back to... Because there was... You, your, your starter didn't have a Mega Evolution in Gen 6. And then they, they did that also with Gen 8. Like, your starter didn't have its own, like, like... Like Gigamax, of, like big form. They only added that in the DLC, which you have to pay for to get a special thing of it. So we can eat some special yum yum soup and then just like get a big tower that can snipe people, like fucking JFK in the in the fucking car. Oh yes, what a what a great rant. I had a I had an Italian. So mine had like the obviously they were kind of a little bit lazy because like the the big monkey just got big ass drums, the rabbit got a big ass ball, and then Italian got a tower and it would snipe people for the top of it. Yeah. He's like, I got the eyes on the target, man. <laughs> you like how the game lags? Yep. How the fuck do you get back? Okay, now, now go all the way that way, and then press it. Yep. Yes, I swear. And then, uh, okay, it's for six. What, did, what was your Pokemon? Um, <gasps> we got dialogue. Fuck! This device is indestructible. That's how we have to keep it so he doesn't. You will never be able to release Kiram. Where the fuck did you come from? Yeah, where the fuck did he come from? He just from? spawned in. He's like, it's a reverse peace sign thing where they fade out. Like, he just faded in. <laughs> yeah. You don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Oh, an old man! Uh, right, what's your favorite Pokemon in Gen 6? I would say I'm actually pretty partial to Aegislash. The, the sword. Oh, okay, like, oh, like, okay, that one's pretty cool. I yeah. like, the, the ability he has is pretty cool, with, like, the, like, the defense mode that changes. Yeah, he, so that one's cool, and then obviously I like Berkey. Yeah, uh, Alright, Gen 7. Is, do you like the, 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 well, you said you like the little baby dude, but I feel like he had a first choice before I mentioned that little guy. I actually think, in Gen 7... I really like Vikavol. The bug? Oh. The bug electric one? Oh, I had one on my chin, like the fucking charger bug with the yeah. with, with the big ass wings. Yeah, I, I I really I really like him. I think I think he's I think it's a, such a cool con concept for a Pokemon. Mm -hmm. It's uh him and uh some of the Alolan forms are cool too. Yeah. Gen 8 I probably don't have a favorite because Yeah, because you never really played it. Yeah. You played it for two seconds, so you can get the, uh, <laughs> the, the Jirachi and, uh, and Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Yep. Cause I told you how to get it, and I'm like, well, I don't want to play it. I'm like, well, it just says that you have to have a, a save file, so you just load in the game, save, and never touch it It took me, it like, again. 15 minutes to get to the point where I could save. Yeah. But, alright. Gen 9. Should be very easy. Is it the, is it the, a uh, Fido? Yeah. Yeah. I love Doc's Bun. And Doc's Bun, yeah, yeah. Their family has a bunch of fucking dachshunds. Oh, you know what I saw on the way to on the way to work yesterday? Oh. I saw someone walking a mini dachshund, and it had it was black fur with white little spots, and it was a long-haired one. Oh, that's yeah. cute. 
I also saw the other day a dog just like out on its own with like just like a collar, no leash, no anyone. I don't know if it was like lost or anything. Did it have a collar? Yeah, it had a collar. Oh. Uh, I don't know, it was in the street when I was passing it. It was it in this neighborhood? Yeah. Was it out like over there? It was like um like when you're heading that way or whatnot. It was like with the second house before you get to the stop sign. Hmm. So some some people have like a it's a little, a little some rat. people have like an electric like it, collar I mean, it on it. It was on the street. Yeah, but it, it's when it reaches a certain distance. Okay. But then again, it might also just be lost. I hope I hope they found it. But beaten again. No matter, Team Plasma will get its last laugh. He just stands there. Can I, can we press the buttons on there? Can we? Uh, can we leave? <laughs> we have other things to do, buddy. <laughs> what if I want to leave? Bro, we have I'm, I'm story. Just, I'm just like, yeah. The I just, good I, shit's coming up, man. You can't just leave. I just wanted to go back up there. <laughs> my superiority and then dip. Can you press the buttons or no? Very intent. Wait, that one. What if I just slam my my hand on the keyboard? Will that help? Yeah, I wonder. Yeah. That's crazy. Welcome. My husband! <laughs> I was asked by an acquaintance to help with his research. What I desire is to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential. If I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. If it means this strength must be brought out by the interactions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use a merciless approach, like Team Plasma's, and force out all of the Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, if the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. Damn! That aside, the reason I have been traveling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of this approach to bringing out the full strength of Pokemon. In that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you have the answer I desire or not. If you're ready, come at me. You better put fucking Charlotte in there. Yeah, let me heal up our Pokemon first. Dun, it took dun. like extra long to load up the... I mean, there's a lot in this area, man. Oh, we have no more Moomoo -Moo Milk! We're gonna die here! Yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. No, you can't use the fresh waters! Each one of them is from a gym leader we love. This one has salt water in it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that's too damn bad. I used them all. Yeah, Clint was like, oh shit, we're running out of uh, like water, so you give it to the, 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 to the participants of this gym. Uh, Merlin, what do we do? And he's like, don't worry. Yo, I got this shit. And he just took a bunch of empty bottles and put a bunch of salt <laughs> he, he water in it. to the back of his gym. He was like, here you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can still see like debris in there. Like there's plastic <laughs> and like... I was like, oh, there's a little, there's a little egg of a pastel in there. That's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Why's mine got a tortuga in it? <laughs> it looks like you're ready then. Okay, let us begin. Did I switch Charlotte to the front? Woo! Oh my god, he's hotter than ever! It's been a while since we battled him. Now he's finally announced as Team Plasma's chorus. Damn, I'm about to nut right now. Okay. Did we put her in the front? Thank God. <laughs> he mainly uses steel types, so. Wait, I want to put the whole headset on for this. I'm gonna be talking to you. You're gonna be like, what? Huh? What a fucker. <laughs> <laughs> no, now we're slower than ever. Hey, if you, he's probably gonna full restore here if you want to like just get rid of the paralysis. Wait, use a Cassilia cone. Oh, really? Okay, that's it. <clears throat> you think Heat Crash will kill it? Yeah, probably. I don't know how much more we weigh than this thing. I don't know either. Let's find out. Motherfucker! NPCs only have two moods. Kill and paralysis. <laughs> What are the chances that he hits it again? <laughs> oh, he's switching out. Alright, let's see who he's switching into. You can get paralysis from this, right? I think you can. I don't think so. What's it told you in the description that oh, you can? It's Magna's own. Alright, so... It's his bigger brother. <laughs> oh, what about, what about head <laughs> smack? We could use that, right? Or, no. It's a rock move. Oh, that's right. These are steel types. 
Motherfucker! We're not very good at this! I'm so sick of I'm it! I'm back in the fucking building again! Then he discharged on me. Did you at least like- No! We're in the red! I can't hear the cool music anymore! It's fine. Yeah, switch him out. Oh yeah, I forgot. I, I was like, oh, shit, we don't have a dark type! <laughs> we don't need a dark type. Yeah, we have- we have Apple. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, finally, our our boy, the guy with the bad picture, finally joined the Discord, and I'm like, "Wow, it's so happy to see you, man!" And now you can get updates like I like like in real time instead of waiting like, because we record these in advance and whatnot. So have have the time like you don't really you you guys are seeing something that we already recorded like two weeks ago and shit. So I was like, so by the way. Uh, don't get too attached to some Pokemon in, uh, episode 20 and 21 of Black 2. <laughs> just, just saying. <laughs> They're like, and Elf is like, wow, what all these specific episodes to watch out for? <laughs> ah, that was Rock Slide. Ugh. Okay, that was a critical hit. It hurt my feelings. Just like it hurt Apple's insides. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we... Get fucking, uh... This thing has plus, right? Yeah. Not, not levitate. Yeah, he has plus or minus. That must be a... Oh, it has fucking, uh... It has an, a, 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 a balloon. It's fine. He, he just went to upgrade his stuff? Bye-bye! <laughs> Hey, at least you got rid of it. Yeah, so I got rid of the air balloon and I got rid of that the- That was a crit! <laughs> Ooh! You better use that fuck- wait, does it have levitate? No. Oh, cool. How'd you do that? Because that's sturdy. Oh, cool. I- I lied. Oh. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't realize that had sturdy, but I was just assuming it does have sturdy. <laughs> I'm more psyched than ever. I can, I can keep still going. go on. Oh yeah, I bet you can, Torres. Fuck up. <laughs> Disgusting. Nuh uh. Disgusting foul creature. You sound like Elf when I'm like talking about Vox. <laughs> Disgusted foul creature. And then he hits you with a bonk. Yes! Thank Dragon God. Claw! Get rid of Dragon Tail. What's wrong with Dragon Tail? It always moves last. Oh yeah, I guess it does have priority. So this is what it means to draw forth the power hidden in your Pokemon. Ten thousand dollars! You better give me more, you're a scientist. So strong. You're a very strong trainer indeed. So let me ask you this. Are you thinking of reaching even higher heights by understanding each other as Pokemon and trainer? Yeah. I see. To me that is an ideal answer. To think that's what you actually believe. You bring out the power of your Pokemon with respect and love. Apollo! Excuse me for repeating myself, but if it will make Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon can increase their powers only to a certain point, then their full strength must be brought out using a scientific approach. Even one without a conscious. Yeah, I need to watch the, the Pokemon anime where they have this guy in. I want to see what his voice sounds like. <laughs> but you have shown me the potential of your approach. To me, whether Team Plasma wins or whether you win will decide how the relationship between people and Pokemon should be. So where will this be settled? Step on the warp panel on the other side of the room where Kyurem is being held. Good luck in your battle. Was he just in front of us though? Wasn't he right there? My hand? Peak boy? This, yeah, he's right there. Hi. <laughs> what? You mean Koras? Well, I can't pretend to be strong if I don't have any Pokemon. Well, at least he's honest. Should we heal our Pokemon here? Mm. I forget if there's a trainer up here. No, I don't think there's a trainer. From what my memory saves. That's what you mean, go to the next year. That's Getsis, by the way. Good, yes. That blasted Chorus. The fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma? 
How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Unova. How fortunate for you, few get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Curum's true power to its absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people and Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's. No, at my feet. Damn. Curum is an empty being, the remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split into Reshiram and Zekrom. My desire is absolute rule of Unova. That's right, Curum will be the vessel into which my desires will be poured. Lord Kinsis, Curum is being transferred. <laughs> what? He was just fucking over there. Yes. <laughs> He just walked over like two feet. <laughs> it's finally here. The wonderful era in which I am the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. Shit. Wait, you're one of the Shadow Triad, right? Tell me about the purloin that was stolen in Aspersia. Very well. This might be it. Grill! <laughs> I sold this Pokemon five years ago in Asperita. So, it seems likely it is the Pokemon you're talking about. But now it only listens to my commands. Such is the fate of Pokemon that are triped in Pokeballs. Wh what? Don't mess with me, that's someone else's Pokemon. Huh, I feel sorry for Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokeballs and the whims of their trainers. Morgansis spoke of Pokemon Liberation two years ago, simply from his own ambitions, but. If his plan had succeeded, many Pokemon would have been saved. This leopard? Well, you knew it as a purloin. If it had been released, it might have returned to you. Well then. You there. I will not let you interfere with Lord Gensis' plans. Shadow! <laughs> Alright, let's beat this motherfucker up. You know, I was, after we recorded the, the last episode of this, I kept thinking about it, I'm like, I really want to play again, because I want to I wanna see all the cool shit that's about to happen to us. <laughs> oh, oops. WE LIVE! <laughs> Thank god. Can you imagine if it was like, paralysis activated? <laughs> I would have been so sad. Get him out of there! <laughs> Surely we don't speed the absolute. Good thing is, I don't care if a Pokemon dies. This isn't a no slot, this is just a playthrough. Yeah, we don't give a shit about these Pokemon! <laughs> Even though they're surviving and doing what they need to better than our Pokemon in our no slot are. Yeah. Another one. <gasps> oh, wait, this is, this is the playthrough. What were you gonna say? I was gonna say, wait, send <clears throat> Bellamy in! He's got superpower! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll nuke this shit. Yeah. That's so rude. You you did that to him. Why do you have to intimidate him? He's just a blade. He's just a Beyblade. Beyblade, Beyblade, <laughs> let it rip. Oh. Um. Good job, wanna... Maggie, you bit metal. I really wanna touch your chest, man. Stop saying that. He's got some like liquid on it. It's vapor rub. That's it. <laughs> You're not done yet. <laughs> I think I am done. <laughs> but we had to heal. I thought that's where you were going was to go to the doctor. <laughs> well, we can, we can heal like this. All right, cool. You're not done yet. Nuh-uh. <laughs> Nuh-uh, I'm fucking out of here. What the fuck you mean, nuh-uh? Yeah, get the, uh... Get that paralysis. God! Yeah, me! Alright. Beat these fuckers up and get the fuck out of here. You know, let me read my line! He swore loyalty to Lord Getsis after he saved them or some bullshit like that. Yeah, that sounds alright. Some bullshit like that. Oh shit. Kaizen just went live. Should I go in and throw a car at him? 
That's what I do. I'm gonna type exclamation point cum in his chat. Exclamation point cum? Yeah. Hold on. Crash. <laughs> He's fucking going off. <laughs> no, Mellow Mushroom is ass. I don't care if anyone what anyone says. That shit is terrible. What's Mellow Mushroom? It's a it's like a pizza place. Oh. The only people that say Mellow Mushroom is good are either people who don't have good taste buds or people that get stoned as hell and, and go there, like, high, where everything is five stars. <laughs> you can literally put, like, a beetle on a plate and have someone eat it when you're high and you'll be like, Damn, this shit's gas. <laughs> I stand by that opinion. Listen, well, the only thing we want is the world Lord Densis desires. Don't care. I had no problem with you, but this is for Lord Densis. Oh, so this, this guy actually likes us, but... <laughs> But he's like, he's like, sorry, this is my job. Rules like, are rules, man. I gotta get my pension, man. Yeah. <laughs> but like my four hundred one k is riding on the line here. Yeah, just like that one woman from uh, <laughs> from Law and Order that we just watched. My job and pension were on the line. I couldn't do anything. Yeah. Holy shit! We need to get a better fighting type move. I know, that's what I'm saying. Fucking Do I need to go to the tournament and go get Brick Break? <laughs> Please, oh my gosh. If you have spare time sometime, just do that. Because though it helps so much. I feel like his last Pokemon's gotta be weak to Charlotte, considering he hasn't thrown it out. <sighs> yeah. Makes sense. But it's Bug. It's definitely gonna outspeed us, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You swift, are you serious? <laughs> I guess Bug wouldn't really do much against Charlotte. Would it be like four times, uh, like a half, like a quarter? No, it'd be four, yeah, eight? it'd be four times resisted. Yeah. Nothing bother us a bit, Pokemon win or lose. Well, you lost, so get shit on. Yeah, get shit on, kid. Even if I lose, Lord Gensis simply has to win. No matter. The only thing you can do is to watch Lord Gensis use Kira to freeze Unova Solid. That's all. You. I'll return this Pokemon to you. Consider what Lord Gensis is about to do. I have no further need for it. Hey, Phoenix. If we let Team Plasma do whatever they want, there will be more sad Pokemon like Purloin and Kira. Damn. You're right, I'm fucking out of here. <laughs> All right. Well. All right. In the next one. <laughs> in the next one, we'll continue with the plot. It'll thicken like me, but um. Yep. So in the next one, you'll get to see a little bit more of what Team Plasma's nasty, nasty plan is. Yeah. And I'm sure it definitely will not involve Curem, and definitely not have us fight against it. Yeah. Totally. Till next time. Yeah. Bye! Bye, -bye.